friends now we are solving a problem on vector differential calculus now here they are given show that del square r to the power of n is equal to n into n plus 1 into r to the power of n minus 2 so friends you see now we have to prove this one before uh, proving this problem you have to remember some useful formulas you see del e is called vector differential operator del is nothing but i into do by do x plus j into do by do y plus k into do by do z this is symbolically we are denoting with the summation okay del is nothing but this is this is gradient you can say grad also right gradient next del square is nothing but del del square is nothing but del dot del del square is nothing but del dot del next r bar is equal to x i plus y j plus z k and uh, r square you can say r bar dot r bar that is equal to x square plus y square plus z square now you see this r square is x square plus y square plus z square i am differentiating partially with respect to x then i will have 2 r square divided to 2 r into do r by do x is equal to 2x plus 0 plus 0 so 2 to getting cancelled then you will have do r by do x is equal to x by r similarly do r by do y is equal to y by r next do r by do z is equal to z by r next you require this one also do r bar by do x because r is a function of x y z i can differentiate r bar with respect to x r is here also function of x y z but this is a vector r bar is a vector is a function of x y z now i am differentiating r bar with respect to x partially then i will have 1 into i is i next do r bar by do y is equal to j next do r bar by do z is equal to 0 plus 0 plus k nothing but k next you see i dot i is equal to 1 next you see summation i dot i is nothing but summation 1 summation 1 is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 so summation i dot i is equal to 3 so these all values you have to remember of course these all are basic only you know very well right now you see what we are proving we are uh, proving del square r to the power of n is equal to n into n plus 1 into r to the power of n minus 2 first del square what you can write actually del dot del lhs part i am taking here lhs part del square r to the power of n you can write as del dot del r power n so this is first i am taking a del r power n only this del r power n only i am writing you see friends del r to the power of n is equal to summation i into do by do x of r to the power of n simply you can write you see this grad pi is there grad pi simply you can write in terms of summation i into do by do x that's it so here i have r to the power of n so i have written r to the power of n now what is the derivative of this one summation i into r to the power of n derivative power into power minus 1 into bracket derivative what is the bracket you have do r by do x this is equal to summation i into n into r to the power of n minus 1 into what is do r by do x you have you see do r by do y is y by r do r by do x is x by r so do and do r by do z z, z by r now i require do r by do x that is x by r friends we require all but uh, instead of all i am taking this summation only so this is x by r now you simplify this the numerator is containing r term and denominator is containing r term so this is n is a constant you can write outside next r to the power of n minus 1 also you can write outside from the summation so r to the power of n minus 1 here you have already r power 1 by r 1 by r is nothing but r inverse so minus 1 minus 1 is nothing but minus 2 summation i x what is mean by summation i x you see summation i x is nothing but x i plus y j plus z k that is r bar okay so this is you can say n into r to the power of n minus 2 into r bar which value this is del of r to the power of n now we have to find out del square r to the power of n nothing but del dot del r to the power of n so this is summation i dot do by do x of n into r power n minus 2 into r bar okay now we have to differentiate this bracket with respect to x here you see summation i dot 
now i am differentiating with respect to x here n is a constant so you cannot n is outside now differentiating with respect to first uv formula you have so first term into second term derivative plus second term into first term derivative or you can say uv dash plus vu dash now r to the power of n minus 2 into dou r bar by dou x this is the first term into second term derivative plus second term into here you have r bar into dou r bar uh, see dou by dou x of r to the power of n minus 2 that's it now i am writing here you see for the convenience n is constant i can write outside summation i dot r to the power of n minus 2 into what is dou r bar by dou x you have i dou r bar by dou x is i already we are proved dou r bar by dou x is equal to i plus r bar into what is the derivative of r power bracket that is n minus 2 into r to the power of n minus 2 minus 1 nothing but n minus 3 into dou r by dou x that is x by r is it clear for everyone now n into summation i dot here you see i into r to the power of n minus 2 plus r bar into n minus 2 into r to the power of denominator is containing r nothing but 1 by r 1 by r you can write as r inverse so you have power n minus 3 minus 1 means n minus 4 into x now you split these terms then you will have n into summation i dot i r to the power of n minus 2 you can take one bracket for this plus n into here you have n minus 2 is a constant so i am writing outside n minus 2 next r power n minus 4 is a scalar so i am writing that one also outside r to the power of n minus 4 then the remaining term is you have summation i dot r bar x summation i dot r bar x so this is you see n into r to the power of n minus 2 you can write outside then summation i dot i plus n into n minus 2 into n into n minus 2 into r to the power of n minus 4 this is you can write summation i x dot r bar i x dot r bar so you see friends you have a formulas usual formulas what are those means summation i dot i is equal to 1 summation i x is equal to r bar yes or no summation i dot i is summation 1 sorry summation 1 summation 1 means 3 that implies n into r power n minus 2 and this is a 3 summation 1 is nothing but 3 plus n into n minus 2 into r to the power of n minus 4 into summation xi xi means here what i have r bar r bar dot r bar so if you split this one then you will have 3 n 3 n r to the power of n minus 2 plus n into n minus 2 into r to the power of n minus 4 r bar dot r bar already we discussed what is r bar by r bar dot r bar is r square so this is it into r square now 3 n r to the power of n minus 2 plus n into n minus 2 into this is r to the power of n minus 4 plus 2 is n minus 2 so what i can take common from this two n common r to the power of n minus 2 is common then you will have right side is 3 and uh, in, in left side is 3 and in the first term 3 you have second term n minus 2 so if you are simplified then you will have n into 3 minus 2 is nothing but n 1 okay 1 plus n nothing but you can get n plus 1 n plus 1 into r to the power of n minus 2 which value this is del square r to the power of n value is it clear for everyone that's it friends it, to solve this problem we used to useful formulas what what we are used to formulas i am explaining you see summation i dot i is equal to summation 1 is equal to 3 next summation xi is nothing but xi plus yj plus zk that is equal to r bar next you have a dou r bar by dou x is equal to i next dou r by dou x is equal to x by r okay next what we have discussed other than this means yes next r square is equal to you can write r bar dot r bar next del square is nothing but del dot del so these are the formulas only we are used to solve this you know this is i dot i is 1 then summation 1 is 3 r bar is we are denoting with x i plus y j plus z k that is also you know just if you are differentiated r bar then you will have i if you are r square is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square you see x square plus y square plus z square if you differentiate it then you will have x by r that's it so you can solve this problem very easily right 
Thank you for watching this video.